Get your special discount offer on the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com slash video. If using QuickBooks 2007 through 2009, once you have selected a type of form to customize, then you will be presented with the basic customization window. Now this window displays the most commonly used and basic customization options for your form. You can make any changes shown to the options here. And note that any changes that you apply should then be reflected in the preview of the invoice or whatever form you're customizing that appears to the right. Now to set additional form customization options, or for upgrading users who are more familiar with the older style of form customization, you can click the additional customization button that appears at the bottom of this window to open the additional customization window. Now the additional customization window uses several tabs to display different sets of options for customizing the various sections of your selected form. Now each area of the form is represented by a tab, such as headers, columns, progress columns in the case of progress invoices, and within whichever form you're designing you would just click on the name of the tab that corresponds to the area of the form that you would like to customize. Next, you would then check or uncheck the check boxes next to the fields that are shown that you would like to show or hide within the screen version of the form, which is the version where you perform data entry, and the printed version of the form, which is the version that you print and that you're seeing the preview of to the right. You would then enter the titles that you would like to use for those fields into the adjacent text boxes, so you don't have to take the default description of any of the fields that appear if you don't want to. You can change that as well. So for example, if you want to enter or view information when entering an invoice, but you didn't want your customer to see this information, you could have a field that appeared only in the screen but not in the print version by just unchecking the print checkbox for that particular field or vice versa, you could have one that just appears in the print but not in the screen version. Now note that on the columns tab, you can change the order in which the columns within the line item area of a form left to right by simply entering a number into the order field. The columns will display from left to right from lowest numbered to highest numbered. Now when you're done making your additional customization options to the form, just click OK to save your new custom template into the custom template list. Now note that if you want to change the placement of the fields within the printed form, you can further customize the appearance of the printed version of your form by clicking the Layout Designer button that's at the bottom of this window to launch the Layout Designer in a new window. Like what you see? Get your special discount offer on the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com slash video. Over two dozen titles are available in Microsoft Office, QuickBooks, Photoshop, and much more.